Why should we care about climate change? You may think that we can't do anything as individuals when 71% of carbon emissions are caused by multinational companies and countries. But best believe we live in one of those countries and it's our relatives, the places around the world that we are proud to come from, that are on the front line of climate change. One time for your mind. Dominica is, is known as the nature island, rainforests the whole way through. Hurricane Maria, which hit a couple of years ago, it was the strongest to ever make landfall. And it just tore straight through the middle of the island. People were like sheltering in their homes, hearing things smash through the windows, roof gone off, rain coming through. Everyone thought that they were going to die on that night. But even a year after, it was imminent food crisis. You couldn't get mangoes. And this is like one of the main exports. This is what is a lot of people's livelihood. From Dominica to London G. From the nature island where volcanoes raise the highest safe asylum. My uncle had a farm in Ethiopia and the farming out there, so they've had to change their crops all the time. It was too hot for the vegetables really to grow and costed him a lot of money. I guess the first thing he was growing was onions. And then when he actually stopped doing onions, he had to learn all new techniques and just to do another vegetable. As British kids, we are negatively affecting where we're from. How we live, how we conduct ourselves, whether we vote, will and does affect the world. Because these places that are burning, these places that are flooding, these places that haven't had a drop of rain to grow crops, these places are where we are from. It's just a fact. If nature suffers, people suffer. Because this delicate planet is the only one we've got. There are no borders when it comes to climate change. Nigeria, where I'm from, um, every now and again it gets flooded. And if your family are from a place where land level is quite low, you're going to get affected by it even more. We're going to take action against climate change. We should definitely register to vote. That's an, a moral obligation. Sudan, Khartoum, the capital, has literally been classified as like one of the hottest cities in the world. Literally, people can't even work in the day. They genuinely cannot work in the day. It's affecting, I guess, their income. It's affecting the government's economy. Sometimes you do feel hopeless because you think, oh, I can't do anything. But there is things that you can do. Back home, we have this saying that if you help one person, you pretty much are helping mankind. Climate change is affecting the UK. Just look at the flooding in the northern parts of England and the Midlands right now. You only have to think back to Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans to see in Western countries, ethnic minorities historically bear the brunt of the negative effects caused by a crisis. The same will happen here. Nature does not negotiate. The science is out there about what's going on with climate change. What we can change is our political will, um, because political will is a natural resource. We have the power in the UK to make our voices heard in this election. Register to vote online before the 26th of November and make your voice heard on climate change.